So, how did it turn out? Damn fine work, but we already knew that. What else does it say? Hmm, so it does. That's definitely a key factor. And... Nice. Well done, soldier. All right, that has me convinced. You're in the top of your class. Congratulations. You've done everything right by my standards. Report to Chevy in the security office and have her issue you the best gear and post in the base. You've earned it. Great. Questions. What is it? Well then, you do have that glimmer of greatness in your eyes. What do you want to know? It's hell on earth, kid. I've seen cities sunken below seas of radioactive sand. The ashes of the dead choke in the air. There are places in this world where the fires of war still burn, as if the bombs fell yesterday. Most everything kind about what's above ground is a mirage, shimmering out of the corner of your eye, tempting you to make a wrong move. I've seen the eyes of Satan glimmer in the dark, with bullet holes next to my head when I wake up in the morning, and I've felt the ghosts of ages past whisper on my shoulder before blowing away in the dust. You feel trapped even out in the open. Not even the cool breeze of the coming rain across your sun-cracked skin is good news. The only hope is that someday you'll hear on the airwaves the song of an army coming to save the day. The song of America starting to wake up from her nightmare. Father Time breathing life back into her dreams. That's a good question, kid. America? That's a real big thing to talk about. Here in Vault 18, we have the opportunity to make a real change up there. We're safe and healthy. I want to see you kids make a true difference. Start to put things back together for the red, white, and blue. We'll start with after-school programs, then scouting missions. You kids are smart, good with technology. A bunch of us living down here want to start training you to fight, too, to keep our little investment safe. It's a big world up there. And there are a lot of bad guys. We need to find the good ones and band together. All of us. You betcha, kid. And here we have tonight's vault hero. You really know how to handle yourself, big guy. Can I ask for a quick post-game play-by-play? Great! I've just got some, mm, stuff to talk to you about. You know, vault drama. We'll get it over with quick. Sure. Don't keep me waiting, tiger. Congratulations on the big win! That was some sick footwork knocking over Johnny Matheson. And that ugly oaf didn't stand a chance. You're a bruiser! Ha, huh, well, kinda. I'm just filling in for Carl Weathers. Bragg kicked him off the Patriots for the night, so I had to fill in. I'm not exactly one of the Patriots. I just like to get tough now and then and toss a few boys around the gym. 
<laughs> I try. Hey, what are you doing tonight? You want to come join Eric and I for a little post-game after party? Well, we might have acquired some of the private stash of alcohol that chemistry nerds brew up in hydroponics. You care to walk the line of scientific possibility with us? Anything is better than dealing with the constant circulation of drama in this damn vault. Whoa. Do you really mean that? You really think that? That's cool. I'm glad that you're one of my friends. Okay, you have a good night. Maybe I'll see you later? Glad Bragg joined the vault. If he hadn't brought us that water chip from outside, we'd be doomed. How come I've never seen you around here before? This place isn't that big. Oh, hey! You're here to see Chevy? Sure you can, sport. Just remember that Chevy. Well, she's a tough one. Tread carefully. Come on. You got the time, kid? My pit boy is on the fritz. Mistress, the player that won the football game is here to see you. Your brother sent him. I know. Thank you, Aaron. You are dismissed. Y yes of course So you're the replacement? What's your name, Recruit? Interesting. Try again. Hmm. And why is it you want to join Vault Security? Well spoken. You meet my expectations. I'll issue you your armor and sidearm. Be prepared to start your training in the morning. Do you have questions for me? John isn't as... perceptive as I am. I know a soldier when I see one, even when they don't know it themselves. I'm not simply a security officer, I am a lieutenant. When it is time to fight, my place is beside my men, making sure that my troops survive. If I haven't done well in teaching them to listen, then I will fail in that mission. What have you learned of me so far?
You're learning quickly. You are a manipulator, however, and that is a trait I don't appreciate. I'll train it out of you. You've impressed me enough that I may send you back to John. I know he'd like to see you again after you're done here. There are many ways that I'll train you, physically and mentally. You're a born soldier, and that makes you my perfect match. For now, you should ask John what he would have you do. Dr. Rossman is the one who decides who joins the Wasteland Scouts, and it's Sergeant Norman who approves and leads missions. Dr. Rossman will either be in the computer lab or in his home preparing for bed in the lower apartments. You should seek him out to hear his stories. They may teach you something about serving me. Exactly. I'll see you tomorrow morning at 0500. Do not complain. Do not be late. <laughs>